Hello and welcome to episode 1 of the Alpha 23 Let's Play. So, I'm not sure if I told you in the last episode, uh, I had some audio issues last time, strangely enough. It was incredibly quiet, if you didn't notice. Um, I had to reinstall Windows, so that's why there hasn't been a video on uh, Alpha 23 yet. Uh, yeah. So I had to reinstall Windows, I've moved the map over to what is essentially new copy of Windows, uh, and yeah, we're now on Alpha 23, as you can see from the door servos. So today we are going to be selling our prison for the grand total of 540 thousand dollars, or generic money money, I guess. I don't really know what to call it. I, I would say pounds, but it's not pounds because it's a dollar sign. I don't know. I'm confusing myself. So yeah, we're going to sell the prison and we're going to move on to an adequately sized new prison. And it's going to be pretty fun. Because we're going to be integrating more of the new CCTV and door control system features and stuffs. So yeah. I guess it's time to sell the prison. So I'm just going to save this one very quickly. And then I'm going to sell it. No going back from here. Sell. Uh, we're going to go with a, I don't know. I don't know what size to go for. Small, medium, or large? Hmm. I don't actually know what to go for. See, part of me is sort of thinking medium, because then we can get bigger. But small might be fun as well, and just go for a small one, so it doesn't take so long to build. Yeah, let's go with that. So, fairly conditions, we'll have forests, uh, fog of war, let's go. There we go. So, we are in. Neat. So, let's not load, let's save. The A23. If I can put it right. Oh, missed off the capital on the P. Alpha 23, let's play. So let's get ahead and going. So, first of all, we're going to want to dismantle all of the trees because they are just going to be in the way. With the release of t Alpha 23, it added the ability for uh, prisoners to arrange for contraband to be thrown over the walls to them. So I'm going to be doing something about that, which is I'm going to have sort of like a double thickness wall, I think. Or I don't know, actually. I don't know if it'd be really worth having a double thickness. A double, a double thick... Wall. Hmm. Right, well, first of all, I'm going to disable the intake. Because we are waiting before we start getting intake. Where have all the workmen gone? Please don't tell me they're all invisible. Oh no, they're just behind the trees. Oh god, I thought they were all invisible or not there. I was like proper proper being scared then that the game had screwed up already. Right, so what I'm going to actually want to do is I want to expand this way and have the officers and etc. over here. Now the awkward part about that is I need to build a building and then branch off to over here. So, let's just plan out the walls. Let's slow it down one notch. I'm going to have the walls three away from the sides. So go all the way down and then three away from each side. Now obviously this is going to start off as a fence uh, and then it's going to sort of evolve into a wall. So, what we are then going to do from that point is we are going to have 
cell block type things. So let's go with two, no, three in, three in from each side. And we're going to have, well, we're going to try and see how many cells we'd be able to fit into an area. So if we built it like this, it needs to, I need to figure out where the middle of the prison is actually first. It should be 40 into the center. There we go. So that's the center there. Let's just double check just by going up. 40, yep, that's the center. So if that is the center, like so, then we can't go that far, we can go up to that far. Let's put in the other side, like so. It's basically me going along the same design as the last one, um, except it's going to be slightly different. So this is 12 by 31. So if we were starting from three away from all sides. Say three away from this side is there. So 31 by 12. From here, 31 by 12. Let's just double check the same inside. So 10, 10, yeah. 31 by 12, 31 by 12. 31 by 12, and I think this actually, it worked out perfectly, 31 by 12. So that's going to be the cells. Everything else is going to be up here. So, what we are going to want to do is we are going to have a delivery zone somewhere up in this sort of area. So I'm going to have the three in from each side, as I said already. I think I have down here. Yes, I do. Three in from each side, and then we're going to have a kitchen slash workshop slash canteen here. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty fun. Um, all right, so if we're going to have a if we're going to have this here somewhere, so let's say this is the kitchen here. We're gonna have like if we had it say that size, that is way too big for a kitchen, really. But I think it'll be all right. Uh, we're gonna have that sort of like that, and then if we then go into this mode, so we can see what we are doing, we're going to be having a how big is that? Eleven. A five by that, and a five by that. That's my method of measuring, by the way. You just think of something and then go with the flow because you've given up. So that's 5 by 12, so we should be able to again get a 5 by 6 and a 5 by 6, which is exactly what we want. So we're going to have a garbage here, which is 5 by 6, and exports, which will shall be a 5 by 6, like so. So that is the deliveries area. So we can get rid of that bit now. It's also the exports and the garbage, and then we shall have a kitchen and a work zone, sort of like here-ish. So the work zone is going to be around about sort of like just this block here, like, like that. Uh, and then it's gonna have sort of you know, like the normal. So we're gonna have a workshop. This is gonna be a laundry. I haven't really decided what's gonna be here yet. In fact, that might even be just empty space with a yard and then we'll have the canteen sort of branching off here like down to that or well, that might even be uh, that might even be like the um, the what's it area where the uh, classrooms and everything is going to be so if we're going to have this like that we're going to need a door here, a door here and possibly a door there Right. If I'm confusing anyone, I am incredibly sorry. I have a very strange method of working out things in my head, if you haven't noticed. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> right. If we have this as a 
classroom. I think that'd work as classroom. Well, how big does that need to be? Five by five. And we have a interior of ten by nine. That should work. I can't remember how big the I can't remember how big the uh, actual stool things. Are. I think we'll make it bigger just in case. If in doubt, make it bigger. It's probably too big. Yeah, there, that'll do. Uh, we're going to have a sort of medical area that sticks out a little bit. In fact, that can be a cleaning cupboard there. See, my, my thought method when designing prisons is literally what will fit where in the most effective way. So, we've got all this so far, right? So, when we're going to need a canteen, obviously. Which is going to go around about here ish, like so. So that shall be a rather large canteen with uh, probably around about here ish. That'll be a common room with the AA department in it. Uh, we're going to not do that, we're going to have an entrance to it here with a way down. And in that zone there shall be a medical room, or the medical place, I should say. And then in, hopefully, something that will fit here-ish. In fact, no, 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 no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change that slightly, and I'm going to have this as a visitation instead of what I said originally. So if I actually just sort of re reshape that how it was supposed to be. I should be able to fit like three I would say oh no two. We'd be able to fit two in. Um unless if we did this. So we've got that bit coming out of there. This bit is going to go in there. We can have like a little cleaning cupboard. So that I'd leave us enough room for quite a few visiting tables. Yeah, that, that'll do. So I'm going to end up planning all of this and then totally forget when I actually come to building it. So, yeah. Um, right, so I think they're finished with the trees. Uh, so let's... So I've just realised that I'm... I, I say so, an absolute crap ton. So that's three out from the... That's only two out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not symmetrical. And I actually don't really give a shit because it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, it wasn't symmetrical whatsoever. In fact, this would probably all move down. Oh no, it wouldn't because that wouldn't be right there. It doesn't matter. It's fine. It's not breaking me inside, I promise. Um, right, so we're going to need somewhere that's going to temporarily house... Uh, all I need is a warden and an accountant temporarily accommodated. So, let's do that. So, we're I'm going to wait for them to finish the... F Actually, no. Let's not wait for them to finish the fence. Let's get that in, and then we're going to want that, with that, that, and that, like so. That should be alright. We're going to want a jail door there, like so. We shall have one there, like so. Uh, there's going to be one here, and we're going to have a remote door, or a Staff door. Well, 
staff staff doors can be opened. Remote doors, we need a little bit of... We need some research and stuff to get working. So let's just do that for now. That tree needs, still needs to be dismantled, and they haven't dismantled it yet. That's not good. Um, that is not good. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So we're going to actually have another door there, another door there, another door there, another door not there, but there, another door there, and I'm hoping, hoping that I have done that right. I can test it by just sort of marking out roughly where the cells are going to be. And there, like that. I put them all in the right place. Wow. I didn't actually think I'd put them in the right place, but apparently I have. So, yeah. Whilst that's building, I'm going to put it on full speed and have a quick drink. So, how are you guys, then? I haven't really got much to do, because we're just literally waiting for them to build. Um... We'd probably be able to get, like, get another couple of workmen. I really don't want to, though, because we need the warden and and the accountant. Yeah, we we do we do need um we do we do need uh, an accountant because my plan to move these offices sort of relies on buying that bit. Which, if you're wondering where everything else is going to go, that's all going to go on this side. But not showers and stuff like that. Actually, thinking about showers. Hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I was to get rid of that... 1, 2, 3, 4... There'd be 16 people in this cell. Cell block. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 14, and then everything around the edges. That would work for showers, and they'd, on and they'd only go to the ones that are in here, because I'd be locking these doors with the new control. Ah! Ah! I was thinking where to put the showers, but I've just thought I can control where they go now, because I can open and close the doors. Aha! I had a eureka moment. My brain hurts slightly now. I can hear the I can hear the gears grinding. It's the gears of innovation. Um. So yeah. I I think I'm I might like if we have a lot of time left before the next alpha when this prison is finished. I might either do season two. Or, I'm going to do something crazy, which is keep this prison going, but then try and just build a massive sort of like logic circuit or something over there. Using the new logic circuit parts you can get. Which allow you to basically build processes and stuff. Not full working processes. But they can do basic math and stuff. So if we have all of these cells like so, we're not going to be able to hold many prisoners, but that's not a problem because my plan is eventually to expand that away and just duplicate this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things of 16. It's quite a few. That is quite a few. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how many that is. Seven sixteens. Let me try and work it out. Seven. It's at least seventy without even trying to work out the uh, the six on the end there. Well, four sixteens is sixty four. So, hundred twenty eight. Hundred twelve. Hundred twelve prisoners to a cell block. 
If you can't tell that I haven't done any math in my head for a while, uh, you can tell now. <laughs> so, temporary places for everything, bear in mind. Uh, we are going to be placing a power unit with some capacitors, like so. And then running that power straight out straight out that way. So this power is going to come in and up here. Branch off a little bit. Branch off a bit. Branch off a bit. Branch off a bit. It's going to come up here. Branch off. Branch off. Branch off. And branch off. It's going to go down here. Down here, down here, down here, down here, down here, and eventually down here. Right, so that should be that going in. Eventually this power station will be on the other side of the road, but I need the officers and I need my warden to start researching, so... He requires an office. I don't think it'll let me start... No, it, it won't It won't actually start until he is in an office. It's a minor problem. But I've just come up with a fix for it. Since we're going to be moving it anyway, and we're nowhere near being able to build a... A, uh, a, work a workshop yet. I'm just going to temporarily build it in here. So let's just put in a desk, chair, filing cabinet. Uh, we're going to build a second temporary office. Uh, it doesn't need to be 5x5. Five five. I don't know why I built them 5x5. Five five. I just have. Like so, and like so. So that is going to be for the accountant once he has finished researching. I don't think he's actually going to start researching yet. Oh no, he has. He has actually started researching. Oh, that's nice. Right, so they're going to be installing lights instead of finishing the friggin' foundations. Because, you know, finishing the foundations before you start on the next area is always a good idea if you ever want to build a building. I think I just clinked my glass on the table then. I'm not too sure. It's a desk. I, li I like the new way that this um, stuff is put in boxes. Like, you can just see a little picture of it instead of it putting different stuff all around the place. It's pretty cool, actually. So we've got some grass. Power station. I'm just talking at the moment because I'm waiting for them to complete doing stuff. Um, yeah. Haven't broke into our 500,000 yet. Which is good. We still got five hundred and twenty-three thousand to go. One day, these incompetent workers will finish building uh, my cell block, and that day I shall rejoice and I shall throw them a tequila party because they've finally done the job that they were supposed to do. See, they're just running away. All they need to do is put down one or two blocks of stuff and it shall all be over. But they're not doing it, they're just doing the cables. God damn it, you stupid workers. There's no power in that room. Because none of it's hooked up yet, because obviously why would you finish something? You just start another job until the first one's finished, that's my motto. You know, everyone does it, I think. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just rambling on now. It's probably been long enough, so I'm going to wait for these workers to finish building stuff, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.